This is a thick-tailed or greater bush baby. And unlike its savanna cousin, the lesser bush baby, these fluffy creatures are only found in riverine and coastal thickets. Simpiwe Gumbi works as a ranger at a local resort close to Shushue in KwaZulu-Natal. The, the lesser bush baby is the one you can find uh, in the northern region, like you go in further up into Kruger. Uh, we don't have that one, it's slightly smaller than this bush baby we've got here. African bush babies are some of the smallest primates on the continent and are nocturnal. They are more often heard than seen, especially thick-tailed bush babies with their baby-like cries. In Africans we call these guys the Nakhapis, so they night monkeys. So in Zul we call them Isinkwe. Isinkwe means to dangle. Many African cultures are superstitious about these little primates. Their laughing, chattering sounds are attributed to a mysterious creature that wards off evil intruders. Helen Payne, a biologist, studies nocturnal creatures like bush babies and porcupines using night vision camera traps. They're really well adapted to feeding and living most of their life at night. They have these huge, very sensitive eyes and very sensitive ears as well. They can hear their insect prey and they can also hear the nocturnal predators, things like large owls and smaller carnivorous mammals like genets. Thick-tailed bush babies mostly eat fruit and tree sap. In fact, they're the only mammals that can eat uh, tree gum. They will also eat insects, lizards, and eggs if they can find them. The eyes are forward-facing and very large. And their eyes doesn't turn. It's only the head. So if they're looking in a different direction, they have to move the whole, the whole head to look left and right. Bush babies are great climbers, with long fingers, each with a flat nail, and toes useful for grasping branches. They live in small groups of two to six individuals. They tend to keep to themselves, especially when they're feeding at night. But at the kind of early evening and early morning, they get together and have general social activity. Some of the females get together. Sometimes the males come in as well and get groomed. Uh, but generally, they keep to themselves. Simpiwe says the males can be very territorial. If it's two males, then one male is going to feed on the table, the other males they want to stay away. But also, the, the other males, they get grumpy. They don't allow the, the, even the females to come and share the food on the table. They want to be bossy feed from the food. Then the time that they move off the table, then everybody can come and help themselves. Bush babies have a unique way of marking their territory. They do this really cute thing. They, they urinate on their hands, and then they wipe the urine on the soles of their feet. And they, as they walk, they spread their scent around their territory, and that lets other bush babies know who's around. This species gives birth once a year when vegetation is thick. Bush babies are actually doing quite well in South Africa. Their numbers have stayed fairly constant in the last 20 years or so, and they're even able to move into artificial plantations like pine plantations and gum tree plantations and make use of the trees there. There are 17 documented bush baby species in Africa. And as more of Africa's forests are being scientifically explored, the discovery of other new species is likely. <laughs>